but this compressor, you know, could be a real nice unit and be decent and helpful on a job when it's in the right shape. So I'm excited to do it and try to make the best of it. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to look good when we're done. only for trucks as you can see here behind me there is an air compressor and this video is gonna be a little different than the usual truck stuff but this is what we got going on and I think you guys would appreciate seeing what we do here so this compressor uh, I want to say my boss got it from an auction uh, the guy loves auctions and half the you know half the time if I get sent to an auction to pick stuff up I know it's gonna be a rough day because he likes to buy things some we need some we don't but I gotta figure out a way to get it all home. And I usually try to make it in one shot because I don't like making trips. But needless to say, he does get good stuff all the time, so I can't complain. But he, he got this compressor, I, it gotta be at least a couple years ago. And it runs great. It's always worked. I don't think it's ever had an issue, you know, just regular maintenance. And it was even flooded at one point, and I believe completely underwater. And we checked the oil and changed the oil, and she still runs. So this compressor, has well earned itself a makeover. Um, you know, we've been talking about it for a while and it's finally getting to the point where we're gonna do it. So the plan is to just, you know, do it on a budget, do it cheap, do it easy, do it quick, nothing crazy. The compressor sits a lot in the yard, you know, it only goes out during the summer, you know, the jobs that we need it, but it sits just about as much as it gets used. So we're not looking to make this thing a showpiece by any means, but just something presentable, nice on a job site, things like that. So, um, I'm going to put a new wiring harness in it, you know, for the lights, just because that's all old and messed up, and I don't even know if the lights work. You know, uh, quick scuff of it, a uh, quick paint job, re you know, replaced a little clear lens that was broken and fixed a little door flap. I did put an exhaust on it, which I'm going to show you guys now. And that's going to be about it, but, um, you know, I think you guys will just appreciate seeing what you can do with nothing, you know, like that's the way I was taught and brought up, and why spend a ton of money on something that you don't need to, so with some simple Amazon sandpaper, you know, a nice little Milwaukee sander, though, that, that wasn't too cheap. But simple rattle can stuff from Home Depot, you could paint yourself up something nice. So, you know, watch how we do it. And maybe you guys can learn something and do projects of your own because it's fun to do, to be honest. Yeah, I'll show you guys the exhaust that I did here. Open this bad boy up. So it had a cherry bomb on the roof and it mounted there and there, which I am going to take off and cover that hole as well as you can see my new deal there with the flapper so i just went to tractor supply um this 90 was already here but it was on the outside of the compressor so i just put that 90 back on and i put it to this tractor supply muffler it was for an international harvester i believe and i just put that 90 going up nice and simple and it's holding itself up but i know that won't last long with vibration and bouncing down the road and stuff so i do have universal strap mounting and stuff like that that I'm going to put on there and mount it to this the roof in there to hold everything together. Um, I also have to take everything out and I have to weld steel plates in there because that's all rotted through. You can see the holes in there and stuff like that. And I'm also going to you know mount the battery properly and put a plate there to hold bits and stuff like that. So simple stuff, nothing crazy, but this compressor you know could be a real nice unit and be decent and helpful on a job when it's in the right shape so i'm excited to do it um overall it is pretty straight the fenders are nailed but i'm going to beat them as straight as i can and try to make the best of it but yeah i mean you know it's it's going to look good when we're done so i'm pretty excited i am going to get it out and drag it out and actually get it to the point where i can easily access it and work on it but i just wanted to give you guys a quick idea let me get out of the sun here but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little show of what it looked like beforehand 
that way you can follow the progress and then see the finished result and appreciate it that much more. And uh, yeah, that is, I think that's about it. That's all I got to say. Um, sorry, my hood's always up. It's cold out, you know? So you're gonna have to deal with that. It kind of annoys me sometimes seeing myself on camera, but it's cold. So my ears are cold. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna keep on sanding and get this thing prepped. Um, you know, start messing with the lights and things. Just kind of bounce around. I'm waiting for my coworker to get back with supplies. Wait till you guys meet this guy. Oh boy. But anyway, yeah, I'm waiting for some stuff from him. So in the meantime, I'm just killing time, sanding away. So we're gonna do that. And then see you guys on the next update. I'll try though. Come on. Be your button again. Jesus Christ. Be your button again. I use the little guy. The little one's gonna be even worse. <laughs> yeah, nah, dude. That wheel's gotta come off. There's nothing we can do. Alright, let's just take the wheel off. This is stupid to try. All right, guys, so we made some progress, as you saw. Uh, we got it pretty much all the way sanded. We just pulled the wheels off to straighten up the fenders a little bit better. As you saw, we were having a tough time getting the hammer in there. But uh, it is pretty funny whacking against him and watching him cry about it. But yeah, we're gonna try to straighten out the fenders a little bit, and then we're gonna start painting different pieces as we go, because I got a little paint scheme in mind, so it'll take some taping and you know one spot before the other, so and so on. But uh, I also got all the wire, the mess that was in this thing, um, this was whatever was in there. It was a long loom of four or five wire and, uh, you know, a plug that we don't use. Uh, I did have that around here somewhere. Yeah, this guy. So we don't use this style of plug, this little guy. But, um, so I'm going to take, you know, a new set of four wire, run it through there for the taillights and put our plug on it, the, the new stuff, and everything will work. So, yeah, like I said, straighten these fenders out. I'm going to start painting, so let's get to it. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, it looks horrible. Why? Like the stuff bleeding through it. Well, that's why we put more than one coat. I know, that, that's, that's just how it's going to be until we put a couple coats on. I know. I don't think coats are going to be. It'll, 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 that looks like shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that looks fing. Yeah, you know the you know the cars. You know the cars from GTA where you can paint them but it still has the shit on them. It don't matter what color you can paint them, it still looks like that. <laughs> that looks horrifying. Uh, I gotta pull this thing too. I'm gonna be the asshole driving this thing around. He said it'll look good after a couple of coats. And he looked at the vendor and changed his mind. <laughs> Looks bad. Oh, man. Well, there ain't no 
Professional paint job, he goes. That's what it is, son. I don't know about what you're doing. What's wrong with the way I'm doing it? We'll let the people tell us in the comments. All right, guys, so we're making some serious progress here on this thing. Um, we got just about everything we had to done. I'll go over that stuff with you quick, and then we're gonna get ready to start spraying gray here. He's just cleaning up the surfaces. Get them up a little bit dusty and stuff like that. We're gonna get right to it. So I'll show you guys what we did so far. So we could start with on top here. I mounted that little plate to cover the exhaust. And the reason I used that was because they were the old mounts to the cherry bomb that was on top. So instead of wasting money on material, just use that. Little clear silicone underneath to stop the water from getting in. And that's a good hole. We got our little stack all taped up and such. Everything is sanded. We, uh, the sides are painted and the fenders are painted and the front's painted and we have everything taped off. I also fixed this door because this was broken. So we got a couple new little nuts and bolts in there. We got that unit back on so she's covered, which is cool. I had to put a new piece of Lexan or plexiglass here because that was broken. So I'll fix that after the fact of painting. Um, the bumper's painted down there and we started on the, the little piece right there just to get started we just want to see what we we're working with and if you guys haven't figured out the color scheme yet you will you know pretty soon it'll make a whole lot of sense but um yeah i just you know i'm happy so far it's coming together it looks pretty good for what we had going on no it's not perfect but you know good from afar far from good you know you pull up somebody's house on a job site it looks nice and presentable that's all that matters so um yeah like i said we're gonna get right to the gray and uh show you the finished product hopefully here soon Anything to say, Har? Huh? Want to tell him anything? We should have pressure washed this f***ing thing before we started doing this. <laughs> but it's cold out. You didn't want to set up the pressure washer. Would you have set it up? No. <laughs> well, then what do you mean? It was clean enough. You know, that's why we sanded it. It's all good. We're getting there. Oh my God. As you guys can see, she is sprayed. Jesse showed up to give us a hand with some lights we had issues with. Say hello, Jess. <laughs> yeah, guys, looks pretty good. I'm excited. Yeah, we're gonna start peeling tape here in a second. Um, I don't know, probably four coats or so we put on this thing. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm excited to open everything up. I'm gonna have to touch up a couple of the black spots on the fenders because we didn't fully cover them. We had some red overspray, but uh, it's not a big deal. But yeah, we're going to start peeling some tape and then see what it looks like, guys. All right, guys, so it's starting to get dark now, but uh, we did get the compressor all cleaned off and we did a little bit of touch up, but there's more to do around the fender areas. I should have said in the beginning, I want to say it now, you know, I'm not a professional painter. We're not painters. We don't claim to be painters. We didn't do it the right way or the best way, but we scuffed it, we cleaned it, and we painted it, and it looks half decent. So I'll give you guys a little walk around shot, you know, uh, daytime tomorrow. And we'll go from there. But overall, it does look good. And uh, I've also explained the paint scheme to you. So, yeah, enjoy that. All right, guys, so it's the next day. The compressor is ready to go to work. We got a lot done this morning on it, and it's finally ready to go. So we're just going to park it. We're done with it. But obviously, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. So let's check it out. So, so far, what we did today, guys, so what we did guys, we got the exhaust mounted properly. We got them two straps on there. No, it's not the greatest, but we believe it'll do. It'll work enough. I'd like to have some rubber there to help vibration, but it should work for now. We uh, got new tail lights installed and they work. As you can see, I got the hazards on there. This one's in the shade, so it helps show it. 
little orange part in there lights up. My boss had them laying around, so why not use them? Uh, I tried to do something on the license plate to be a little different. It's not really like a super important plate or anything, so I try to like, you know, get the red on there and then grind the numbers clean. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, nothing new on this side that I could think of. So, on this side, obviously that door, I don't, it was broken off, so we fixed that. And then my boss had this tinted Lexan or plexiglass laying around, so we used that as well. We got that mounted. There's an air gauge back there, and you can see it in person. You guys probably can't see it much on camera. No, you can't see it at all. But we can see it in person, so it's all we need. But um, see if it's will fire. We just had it run a little bit, so turn that on there and... Uh-oh. Uh, the choke cable is the final thing that needs to get fixed. She's broken, but I can manually turn the choke on. Got it. Like you said, it works for us really well. Once it fills up the air, you can press this button and then the motor will idle down a bit. But yeah, overall, it's a good compressor for us. It works out well. So I'm going to give you guys a little before and after shots here just to take in the glory of this beautiful compressor we put together. Hopefully you guys agree. But uh, yeah, give you guys that little treat and then I'll be seeing you on the next one. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. You know we have plenty of other things. We've, we've done one of our excavators already. I am going to be doing a second excavator, so if you guys enjoy the little process of, you know, bringing these things back to life, let me know, and I'll definitely film some more. I appreciate you guys watching. See you next time. Something I wanted to mention for you guys, because I did forget. We painted these colors because it matches the Takahuji excavators that we have. So, the other one that we had already painted obviously looks much better. Just to give you a rough idea, as you can see, you know, it's the light gray on top, the little red center section and then a darker gray at the bottom. So we, made it, we may not have taken the dark gray too much into effect, but that red and light gray and stuff, that's, that's where we were going with this. So I forgot to mention that, but if you didn't already figure that out, there you go. No, it's obviously an Ingersoll ran, not a Takahuchi, but looks good, it's all that matters.